Okay, so this is uh, a little video to show you how to put these uh, Anderson connectors on. So you end up with something like this. But before you can put them on, uh, put them inside these plastic housings, you have to solder or I suppose you could crimp them, but uh, apparently you should solder them. And I'm copying what's been done in here anyway because these have been soldered, so I figure I ought to solder these other ones as well. So um, this is going to get hot in a minute, this, uh, um, what would you call that, mm, terminal I guess. Uh, so obviously I've, uh, I can't find my um, electrician's uh, electrical solder roll so I'm going to use this um, uh, stuff here instead. So it should be interesting. So, Heat this with a blow torch. Flames are a tad big at the moment. You can see the solder running down the inside of there. Uh, so that's that done. And now I need to put the solder in. So we've got a roll of rather large solder. And I'm going to somehow hook that around there like that. And then heat. Mm. Yeah, you can tell I haven't done this before. Hopefully that's in uh, in the slot. In a minute that should break off. Hopefully. Okay. And then we heat the this doodad here. Oh yeah, that's all running down in there, lovely. Need a bit more solder in there. Okay. Now that is about quite full now. About two thirds full, so I'm going to transport it over here. Put it in there like that. Hold it still. Let it stiffen. Is that on now? There you go, that's on. So I guess you just repeat that for the other one now. Should we do that now? We're on a roll, aren't we? Why not? I'm surprised how well that went actually. Probably end up burning myself now in the next, uh, in the next one. So you take the connector, okay, dunk of solder. Obviously, if you're using a thin electrician's electrical solder, it comes in the little plastic tubes or what have you, uh, or sometimes on a roll like this. But this is this is unfluxed this solder, so you need to add some flux. But you wouldn't normally have to do this because most of it is is flux cord. The flux is already in there. So I can see the flux running down the inside. Okay. Do that. Heat the thing. Oh yeah, that's lovely. That's melted straight away this time. Bit more. Lovely. See that's like probably a bit too much in there, so I hope that doesn't run out everywhere, but what can you do, eh? And then you pop that over. Okay, let it cool for a while, you don't really want that to fall off with the that'd be a bit disappointing. Uh, give it a little tug, make sure it's set on there. That looks pretty pretty good to me. Then let go. Obviously if, if you were doing a battery, this end's not live because it's the demand side if you like. But you wouldn't want them touching together like that. So you know make sure they're well apart from each other or maybe once you've done one let it cool and you could in, put it in the plug, um, set it in the plug, and that way it, it can't come to any harm. Uh, so, so there you go. Hope you found that useful. Okay, so now all we've got to do is slide these um, these uh, contact points here, or whatever you call them, into this uh, grey housing. 
So on your contact points, you've got like a hook side like that, okay? And that um, will slide in and it clips over these little metal springy bits in here. So you want your hook side to come in over the top and go around that metal spring inside there, okay? So we need to make sure we've got the right side positive in that side. So you just slide that in there. These springs seem to be quite hard, so we'll use a screwdriver or something. What else have we got? Uh, that paintbrush would have been good, but I just dropped it. What else have we got? Aha! An Allen key. This will do. So, sorry about the delay. Push that in there, and then we'll leave it down. Wow, this is way trickier than I thought. Hang on, wait a minute. Let's just try pushing this side. There you go. That's more like it. Yeah. So just just push them in from the, from the back with a screwdriver or something. That's easier. Okay. So the get the little hook and that wants to go over the spring you'll see what you I mean by the hook when you look at the thing look at the connector that's what goes in there like that <laughs> I guess you'll find the first half of this video more useful than the second it's pretty rubbish I'm afraid so there you go negative positive positive yeah okay so if I push these two together Moment of truth. Is she working? Yeah, she's working. Okay, cheerio.